All of a sudden, we saw sparks, and the lights at that right went off. And we knew something was wrong, and Richie ran through the maze where they stand to collect the tickets and go on to the right. By then, all the people came running towards the right. Dr. Richardson and his family had come down from Bahrain to visit their hometown in India for a vacation. One evening, the whole family went out to a fun fair exhibition. I had um, an idea what I was going to do. So I um, went and bought some soap bubbles. That was my favorite thing to do. So the last thread, the seed I wanted to take on was the Torah. But that last ride for Hannah turned out to be a fatal one. She met with a terrible accident. And I saw Hannah thrown off like a flying saucer. Hannah was blue, not moving, no breathing, and her right leg was totally crushed, muscles and skin peeled all over bones and the lower end of the leg was turned towards the knee and I thought she was dead. I bent down to Hannah and did a mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration and after a little while she was moaning, mm, oh my God, she's alive. Then I tried to gather the pieces of bones and the flesh and the skin and uh, put them to the left leg. I took my wife's chunni and tied the legs together Anna was rushed to hospital. Dr. Richardson couldn't bear to see his daughter in such agony. You know, she would wince with pain and my heart broke. As a father, I, as a physician, I can't do anything. I can't give her a painkiller. Or I said to Hannah, I'm sorry, I can't do anything. I can only pray to Jesus. Every time I said that, she said, pray to Jesus. Every time I prayed, she prayed with me. And I would respond with a prayer, and she would respond with a prayer. I wasn't sure whether she would make it. And I could visualize a funeral service for Hannah in our church, of my family. It wasn't easy. After reaching the hospital, Hannah had to undergo surgery. As the doctor swung into action, anxiety was writ on every face. The plastic surgeon came out. He said the muscle crafting was done and everything looks so fine for now, but we have to wait for 48 hours. And they couldn't say anything until then. After that, we all knelt down and we prayed. We went into God's presence to his mercy seat and begged for mercy for Hannah those 48 hours. Tears flowing. 48 hours after the surgery, she was wheeled into the theater once again. It was another two hours surgery, and uh, they found that the muscle was okay, so they took the skin from the left thigh and covered the whole flesh on the right leg that was grafted when the tubes and everything were taken off, and I was allowed to see Hannah for the first time. This was an emotional moment for Dr. Richardson and his family to see Hannah alive even after such a horrific accident. Hannah's physical condition seemed to be improving. Even in this agony, Hannah herself became an encouragement to her family. I told him, the devil did this to me. And I told my father, my God has saved me. He's stronger than the devil. And then I told him, can you read Psalm 23 to me? That verse was from God. She told you know, daddy's afraid that I might not walk. But I am going to walk, mommy. I'm going to jump and leap for joy. Jesus is going to make me well again. And nothing could stop Hannah from being joyful in life. The little girl's simple prayer and enormous faith in Jesus Christ's healing power took her towards the miracle. God has uh, given these uh, words and these prayers to uh, give me strength and courage to face all these things. After the fixator was off, everything was normal. Everything was good. 
Now that my leg is normal, I can walk, I can run, I can play basketball. Today, though the scars remind Hannah of that fateful day, they also testify of God's faithfulness and miracle working power in her life. For the Richardson family, every day is a celebration of what Jesus has done for Hannah, and they know that they can trust Him in every situation of their lives. We never question God. He's sovereign God, He knows the best. He said, I have a plan for you, plan to prosper you, not to harm you, but give you a future and a hope. Our hope is in Jesus.